Do you let society impact the way that you feel about yourself? Do you ever feel like you do not fit in and everyone else looks the same? In this video, I'm going to discuss how people are impacted by societal standards and how it relates to the story, The Pill, by Meg Ellison. Look at these magazine covers. Do they look edited to you? Children, young adults, and even some adults have a difficult time distinguishing between natural photos and edited photos. Models like these shape standards for generations to come. Body standards have changed over time. Mia Alexander lists some of these standards. Hourglass shape with bigger breasts, a tiny waist and wide hips, white and skinny. An increased emphasis on thinness resulted in the rising popularity of dangerous diets. Consistently over the years is the fact that these standards have been very difficult or impossible for lots of people to attain. The story which relates to these societal standards is The Pill by Meg Ellison. In this story, the mother of the main character is hyper-focused on her weight and wants to look perfect according to the standards that she has developed. She looks for weight loss experiments all the time and does not care if she puts herself in danger. The pill is a life-changing experiment that she gets her hands on. After she took the pill, she went through so much pain just to get the body that she has always wanted. After she finishes the painful part of the pill, she gets a somewhat perfect body. Her husband gets worried, and he gets the pill as well. However, his outcome isn't a perfect body. It's death. The daughter takes his death very hard. She's devastated, but the mother seems to not even care. The pill kills one out of ten people, and this frightens the daughter when the brother is about to get the pill. She doesn't want to lose another family member. However, her concern was not addressed, and they went through with getting the son the pill. He luckily survived, but he didn't gain any confidence or happiness like he thought he would. His body changed into what everyone else's looked like, but he continued to live his life. Once the main character's 18th birthday rolled around, the mother, unsurprisingly, gave her the pill as a gift, and the only gift which she gave her that year. The daughter refused this gift and told herself that she would not ever get the pill. She escaped to UCLA for college to get away from her mother. In California, she found herself to be lonely and feeling out of place. No one there looks like her. That is when she met a guy who brought her to this place where plus-size people performed for audiences. She began to perform, and that is where the story let off. This story reflects experiences that people have in real life. A quote from the story reads, Loving yourself means crying over the scale every morning and then sniffling into half a grapefruit. The main character found herself confused as to what her mother wanted from her. She preached self-love and happiness, but the daughter found herself sad and confused. Pretty much the opposite of loving herself. The mother has her daughter weigh herself daily and sees nothing wrong with it. This type of experience is relatable for many. Linda Smolak looked into how children see themselves, and she told her experience with one girl. The first grader told us you would need to throw up after eating. This type of behavior is learnt whether it be from a parental guardian or media. The girl likely learned this from her mother, just like the girl in the pill. Instead of from parental figures, people can learn things from media, media such as magazines. The pill described how weight loss tactics are everywhere in everyone's face. This directly reflects real life. Young children see advertisements daily that force them to think that they need to look a certain way. Magazines display perfect people, edited people. A magazine rarely has a cover where the person is not edited. Mind-altering body standards are not only a thing in America. Willihan talks about this. The value attached to slender bodies in Euro-American cultures is well documented. Most women in these contexts want to be thinner, and heavier women are especially likely to be dissatisfied with their weight. It is universal to feel out of place in your own culture. Starting to look at bodies at such a young age heavily impacts self-visualization. 
The pill shows how innocence of a parent wanting their child to be healthy can turn into something that is more harmful to a child's body image. The mom seems to want her family to love themselves more, but her idea of self-love isn't actual self-love. She thinks that walking is self-love and doesn't care to address the mental health. In the story, the mom's food restrictions on her family cause them to go off into secret and eat. Stuff like this can be seen in real life, too. Parents often try to make their children fit into standards that they have made for themselves. So if that means exercising daily, strict eating, and daily weigh-ins, they will also have their child take part. Children tend to mimic what their parents do around them. This leads to children comparing themselves to others. This comparison isn't only a learned behavior, but it is also something that humans do naturally. Zoe Brown, an author at the School of Psychology, and Marika Tickman from Flinders University explain social comparison theory to be humans have the innate drive to compare themselves with others in order to make evaluations about their abilities and opinions, especially when objective measures do not exist. When comparing their appearance with that of thin, attractive models, most women will inevitably fall short resulting in feeling negative about themselves and their bodies. Another explanation of the theory reads, social comparison is an important, if not central, characteristic of human social life. Because of the adaptive value of adequately sizing up one's competitor, the need to compare oneself with others is phylogenetically very old, biologically very powerful, and recognizable in many species. The mother's idea in the pill heavily impacts the family by causing them to hate themselves and get uncomfortable with their lives. One thing that she said about her son sticks out. She said, it's better for him to be dead than fat. This was a response to the daughter voicing her concerns about her brother taking the pill. She is so intent on her family being perfect to her own standards that their lives do not matter anymore if they do not fit in. Children in real life also have to face these issues. Kids tend to not understand how their opinions about others or themselves will impact their mental health. Things that children tend to get addicted to, like magazines or social media, like to push the ideal body standards down someone's throat. Linda Smolag talks about how children view this media and how it makes them feel about themselves. It was common to find that about 40% of late elementary school, typically 4th and 5th grade girls, reported body dissatisfaction. Roughly 25% of late elementary school girls read fashion magazines at least twice a week. Given this, there seemed to be a connection between bodily dissatisfaction and the reading of fashion magazines. Also, given that bodily dissatisfaction is higher, a person can make the connection between these statistics and the idea that social comparison is instinctual. Society in the pill does not want to be overweight. A quote from the story expresses this. I never thought it would get approved with a 10% fatality rate, but I guess I was really naive. Even though the outcome of the pill is just everyone having the same body, they would rather have that than be overweight. Unique features start to The mom in the pill is heavily impacted by what society finds to be the next best thing. She wanted what society wanted so much that she didn't care if she was in extreme pain. She was described to be screaming like she was on fire after she had taken the pill. These sacrifices and type of thing can be seen in real life, too. People will do anything to look a certain way. The real trouble arises when society continues to change its standards. So when people alter their bodies, they turn around and see different standards. An example of something that impacts society just like the pill does is plastic surgery. When looking at the 2022 Plastic Surgery Statistics Report, there was a 19% increase in the total number of facial plastic surgeries from 2019 to 2022. 
That means around 1.5 million people have plastic surgeries done to their faces in that year. Another large increase from 2019 to 2022 was tummy tucks. These increases can be seen because societal pressures through social media. Social media shoves societal expectations right into the faces of everyone today. It is virtually impossible to escape these ideals if a person wants any form of social media. Society tends to want to be something that it is not. There is always a way to look better, feel better, seem better. Alexander talked about this. In 2005, the average American woman was a size 16, but the average model was a size 0 or 2. Society is habitually toxic. Society will always want to change and become ideal. Children growing up today will always see models in Photoshop. They will have an even more challenging time finding people who look like them. So they will become harsh. The Pill is a perfect story to read if a person wants to see how toxic society is from a fictional point of view. Even though it exaggerates what people put themselves through, is it really an exaggeration?